So solving equations like this are kind of fun because you just look at it and you're like, well, what can you do? Well, you can just FOIL on both sides. So you go ahead and do that. And what do you get when you FOIL? Well, so first off, what even is FOILing? Well, when you see anything in parentheses, like multiplied by something else in parentheses, and you just got a whole bunch of stuff added together in both of them, the way to think about that is you've got to multiply everything in the first parenthesis by everything in the second parenthesis. So we're going to do the 2y times the y. We're also going to do the 2y times the negative 1. So that's going to be 2y squared minus 2y. And then we're going to do the 1 times the y and the 1 times the negative 1. So that's 1 times y, positive y, 1 times negative 1, minus 1. So that's what we get on the left. The next thing you would do there is you would just combine like terms in the middle. Negative 2y plus y is negative y. And so you get something like that. And those two terms in the middle, they always combine. So a lot of times when you FOIL or just when you multiply like this, you kind of try to do that in your head. So let's do that on the next one. So we're going to have the y times the 2y. So that's 2y squared. And then we're going to have the y times the negative 5. So negative 5y. And then 5 times 2y. So 10y. So negative 5y plus 10y is plus 5y. And then 5 times negative 5 minus 25. So there we go. We just foiled both sides. And now we can combine like terms. And this won't always happen, but these problems right now are just designed to where this happens. Look how there's a 2y squared on both sides. So if we subtract 2y squared from both sides, they just go away. They just cancel out. And so now we don't have to deal with any of the squared things. We just have to deal with like the linear things. We just have to get the y's together. So to do that, let's add y to both sides. And then let's add 25 to both sides. So we get 24 equals 6y, and then divide both sides by 6, so y equals 4. And so for now, these are designed to get those to cancel out like that. They won't always be, but for now they are. And anyway, you just you look at a problem and you say, what can you do? You can FOIL, so go ahead and do that, and then you just combine like terms and you just see what happens.